right guys what i got here today is i got a couple new skipjack rods that i just picked up today at uh, academy sports this one is a academy brand legacy rod it's a legacy 70 mhc which stands for seven foot medium heavy casting rod it's good for 12 to 20 pound line one quarter to three quarter ounce of weight i've got it paired with a cast key um Oh, a Cast King Royale. This is a uh, five, 7.2 to one gear ratio, high speed uh, casting reel with some uh, copolymer line. And uh, it's a, uh, with these skipjack, you need a fast retrieve rate to get them to the boat quickly. And uh, I've also got just a, I've got a Carolina rig on here, but I have some new type of swivels that I'm using or sinkers. These sinkers, actually I got them off of Amazon they had the swivels molded into the lead. This is a half ounce egg sinker with swivels on either end and a 20 pound leader down to a Foley spoon, a silver Foley spoon. And uh, the, reason I, the reason I bought these is because a friend of mine, Roger from Musgrave Adventure, he uses them. I think I might be on the front lock. But anyways, Roger uses these inline sinkers and I went looking for some and I found these on Amazon pretty reasonably. A lot of times when you're skipjack fishing, uh, I'll get the leader and it'll come over, cross over and get hung up right here a lot in the swivel when you got a sliding egg sinker. So what, I, what I'm trying to do away with is the bead and the sliding egg sinker. So the more, the less hardware here, the more I consider it to be, you know, a simpler rig and less to tangle up because I don't have an egg sinker sliding on my main line and a bead to prevent the the uh, sinker from smacking into the swivel uh, and i think the, the double swivel probably helps uh, avoid tangles too so that's my casting setup and when i'm skipjack fishing i like to alternate between a casting rod and a spinning rod because you're my, uh, i find that my wrist gets real tired so i'm holding the rod in my right hand when i'm using a spinning rod and in the left hand when I'm using a casting rod. So I like to alternate between my spinning and my casting rod. And a lot of times I'll put a different color spoon on my spinning rod versus my casting rod to find out which one the fish like better. So as I'm alternating, if I'm catching more fish, I'll, I'll change the other Foley spoon out. But this one is a, it's also an Academy brand. It's a uh, YBR 76 MHS, which stands for, uh, I don't know what, yellow bait rod seven foot six medium heavy spinning and this one's good for 15 to 25 pound line one half to uh an ounce and a, a, a half ounce to an ounce and a half of weight and again we're using a uh, inline i'm using an inline sinker with the swivels built into it on this rod the inline uh, sinker half ounce and then i've got a 20 pound dropper to a pink foley spoon uh, and a, the reel I've got on here is a 6.2 to 1. Again, it's a high speed reel, higher speed reel. It's a pin raft. I actually ended up buying this uh, combo with this reel on it uh, at the beach because I needed a breakdown to carry in our little Toyota camera. So I just took the, the, the pin raft off of that combo and put it on this rod today. This is a 7 foot 6, medium heavy. It's got a lot of backbone. Um, but like I said, I hadn't, I hadn't caught a single fish on them yet, but I've been casting them. I really like the way they cast. So let's see what we can make happen with these guys. Stick around. Plenty of backbone. Fast retrieve. 
boat flip where the ticket's at. Look that bend in it, guys? You gotta be able to do that. You gotta have a good backbone. Get that bend. You gotta meet it to a rod that's got not got enough backbone in it. You ain't gonna be able to boat flip these guys. Been able to boat flip them. Absolutely see. Fish number four, guys. Well guys, both rods perform very well this evening. I've got me uh, about five real nice skipjack in the cooler and uh, I'm getting ready to go out here and go bumping guys. Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna end this uh, skipjack portion of this video and uh, get into the bumping. Guys, thanks for joining me and God bless.